it's sad. It's really sad that the world's become so corrupted. Dinuba residents reacting tonight after a probation check found marijuana inside a baby's crib. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Berugia, and Evan is off tonight, and thank you for joining us. We start with those developments. Tulare deputies arrested three people, 36-year-old Sandra Gomez Jimenez, 62-year-old Guadalupe Cardenas, and 56-year-old Santiago Cardenas. Our Angelica Leilani is following the story. She joins us in the studio. And Angelica, there was a one-year-old baby and two teenagers living at that home. That's right, Stephanie. Deputies say the three are okay. They say they were taken by CPS and placed with other family members. But the shocking part is how close the toddler might have been to the pounds of marijuana. In the rural areas of Tulare County, folks who live near there say illegal marijuana grows are not uncommon. It's everywhere. But where you might not expect to see marijuana is inside a baby's crib. Photos show pounds of the drug stashed underneath and inside a baby's crib filled with stuffed animals. To think of a baby sleeping in a bedroom where there's bags of pot. It, yeah, it's shocking. Tulare County Sheriff deputies say they stumbled upon the fine when conducting a probation check at a Dinuba home. They say when they didn't find the man they were looking for, detectives noticed concentrated cannabis throughout the inside and outside of the home. When they went back inside the house, they found a lot more than that. They found 30 pounds of processed marijuana, 145 pot plants, drug paraphernalia, scales, and other things that were associated with selling marijuana. They also found a stolen quad. Photos show detectives also found items for a non-active honey oil lab and a firearm as well as hundreds of dollars in cash. Deputies say three suspects were arrested. 36-year-old Sandra Gomez Jimenez, her boyfriend, 56-year-old Santiago Cardenas, and his sister, 62-year-old Guadalupe Cardenas. And officials say Gomez Jimenez and her boyfriend are facing child endangerment and other felony, felony charges. As for the man they were originally looking for, 43-year-old Maciel Salpita, is, it's unclear if he has any involvement, but they say they have not been able to locate him. In the studio, I'm Angelica Leilani, KC24 Local News. That matters.